Is tracing cheating or is tracing a legitimate drawing tool? And I have some new thoughts on this. I just finished drawing 25 very complex hand drawings with my students in the FunFab Drawing Club. And I have come to the realization that I finally actually understand what building muscle memory is and when it's okay to trace, when it hurts you and when it helps you. So that is what we're gonna talk about in today's video. I'm Karen Campbell and on this channel you'll learn drawing and mixed media techniques, tips and tricks to make your time spent art journaling and creating super easy and fun. And if you're new here, I hope that you'll consider subscribing. So you probably have heard me talk about muscle memory and building muscle memory uh, quite a few times and it's basically the act of doing the same drawing gestures over and over and over again. So example, when you're trying to learn to draw a face and you can't quite get the oval right, you make this hand motion over and over and over again. And every time you sit down and draw a face and every single time you attempt one, you're doing the same strokes over and over and over again. And over time, what happens is that you're training literally the muscles, just like a basketballer, a basketball player has to train and practice to get his three point shot or any shot, right? Over and over and over again. And before long, your muscles kind of take over and they build up a memory of their own. So they kind of know what to do, they, they get on autopilot because they've done it so many times before. So that's why your faces get better over time, drawing that oval gets better. And this, you know, every time you sit down and you try to draw a shape, it looks exactly the same as it did before because I've built up muscle memory. If this is my first time sitting down to draw oval ever in my whole life, you know, it might be like, oh, like, oh my gosh, it's a circle, it's crazy, right? And then over time it gets smoother and smoother and smoother. My arm kind of just knows what to do. So when I was doing this hand drawing challenge with my students, it became apparent that muscle memory <laughs> doesn't work on hands. And here is why. Because when you're drawing a frontal face, you are doing the same exact shape over and over and over again. So your, ch your hand and your arm has a chance to develop muscle memory for this one shape. What happens with hands is that there are infinite shapes right? Like this position is different than this position, which is different than this position, which is different than this one, and 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 this one. So the only chance you have to build muscle memory is if you do the same pose only over and over and over again. Does that make sense? So <laughs> it doesn't work unless you're just doing one hand pose for the rest of your life. Like with faces, you generally do like straight on, three quarter profile, and that's pretty much the large majority of your face poses. So you can really build muscle memory for those three things and like you're kind of good, but hands are so infinite and they're so complex that you can't really do that. So in which case, it's not a detriment to use tracing as a way to create your outlines um, for your hands. That being said, you can also do this for anything. So I wanted to show you a quick little tutorial on how to transfer um, your drawings and your tracings onto your paper so that you can uh, draw, go on to the next part of your, of your drawing assignment and not worry about that part. So you, what you do is you have your regular piece of paper here and then I recommend Highly recommend getting transfer paper. There's an old school method if you don't wanna buy transfer paper where you like scribble on a piece of paper and um, you kind of make your own transfer paper. But I love transfer paper. It's a really good deal because you can use it over and over and over and over and over and over again. So 60 sheets will literally last you like 10 years, probably more. Um, what's also cool about transfer paper is that they have it, well, let me just show you what it looks like comes in sheets like this. You can also buy it in rolls like this. I mean, I've had this for years and I'm still, I'm still going. And on one side is black, sort of carbon paper. This side is lighter. So you put the carbon paper side down and then you take your sheet or your face or whatever it is that you are want to transfer and you put it on top. You need to line up where you want it to go because once it's down, it'll be down. And then this part is really important. You actually wanna get a pretty sharp drawing utensil. I always use a pen because it has a sharper nib 
Then a pencil is too soft. You want to do a pen and then you just outline burr, 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 your whole everything that you want to draw on there. And when you lift it up, I've already done this, there is your outline. Now I went over that again in pencil because I had to scan it, but it's, it's so it'll be lighter than that, but there you go. So for images that you want to copy directly on your paper, like hands, <laughs> and you don't want to, you're not interested in building the muscle memory or objects that you're only gonna draw once and you're never gonna draw again and you're more interested in like hands, it's all about shading, like all, 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 all about shading. That's the most important part. I don't need to draw this. So if that applies to you, then you can draw, you can trace and use transfer paper and you can still feel good that you're not you know, disrupting your, um, your learning time and that you still are becoming a better artist. You're just focusing on different skills for that particular drawing. And then I also want to show you, this is super cool. Transfer paper is also available in white. So one side is the chalk side and the other side is not the chalk side. <laughs> and I like break this off. I'll use the same sheets again, over and over and over again. So I just want to show you, because this is super cool too. There's really, because it comes in white or graphite, I think it also comes in other, some other choices as well. Then you can go ahead and transfer there on your black paper, or if you're doing a painting, you can do it on the canvas, right? That's already painted. Maybe you have some darker colors. So it's really cool because you have choices for every, holy Moses, that looks so good. So as you can see, it's a really handy tool. I really like the Arteza transfer paper over um, their Sorrel transfer paper because it's like jet black, juicy jet black. So it, it goes as boldly almost as that white. It's really nice and dark. And this one, as you can see, see how much lighter that is? So you don't get the dark, you don't get as dark of a transfer. And I like, you know, if I'm gonna trace, I want the lines, I want the lines. So I'll put links in the description box to the Arteza and the Sorrel white. So you can find those. Um, feel good about your tracing. You're okay. You're still gonna become a better artist with practice. Any practice is good practice. So don't worry about it and feel good and happy arting.